Well, New York City, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Boston, prepare for snow Margeddon. You've been warned. Uh, we got about eh, four and a half months or so till we get to winter. But even before we get to winter, I think the freaking polar death rays are going to be coming down from through the Siberian Express, through the Arctic, through northern Canada, straight down to you. Now, in California, you're probably just going to be hot and dry. But uh, maybe this is a, I don't know if you really call this an argument against global warming or not. That argument is probably going to get settled, I'd say, in about five years or ten years. And when we get into the 2020s and the 2030s, if all these projections by these other scientists are correct, global warming is going to look so stupid because it's going to be obvious that it's not going to be happening for, if it happens, it's going to happen for a long time in the future, sometime maybe 50 years from now, but it's not going to be happening over the next 20 years, that's for sure. But in the meantime, before we have these major changes in our climate, I know people are predicting that the polar ice caps are going to be melting. You're going to see some severe weather, not so not in California. California is going to be hot and dry, but in the Northeast, you're going to get clobbered. And uh, this is the forecast that's coming out for the Northeast. You see that red zone? Actually, New Jersey, and that includes all the way down to Cape May. I'm from, like, northern New Jersey near New York City. And I know southern New Jersey along the coast typically has been like not much snow but i think I think this winter yet there was a few close there was more snow this last winter but i know you're thinking it's kind of early it's not that early because it's only four and a half months away and you know the time to do this stuff is now and, and this is gonna be a little bit of a i don't know maybe maybe it's not gonna be a political commentary it's gonna be a make fun of freaking some of the yo-yos commentaries because i can tell you right now this is it's the people in the northeast in a very populous area of the United States are going to be looking at this global warming like this year, especially in light of what happened last year. Like, you know, what the hell are you talking about? You know, <laughs> because you know what happened in Boston, especially and Eastern Long Island. And also, you know, there was a lot in, well, it was Buffalo. They had eight feet of snow. And also there was a record in Italy. They had 18 and a half feet of snow, I think. Or what was that? I f- forgot what it was. It was No, it was 18 hours they had the most snow ever in an 18-hour period. I forgot what it was, 10 feet, 11 feet, 12 feet. I don't know what it was. It was in 18 hours. It wasn't 18 feet. But, uh, you know, last year they were in New York, man. Even today, you know, here it is in, in late July, in, you, know, at the, you know, in the middle of the summer, half of the Hudson Bay. I know Hudson Bay is in northern Canada, but it's not north of the Arctic Circle. It's, you know, it's south of the Arctic Circle, like maybe a teeny, tiny portions north of the Arctic Circle. I didn't really look at the map, but I know it's south of the Arctic Circle. Almost half of the Hudson Bay in Canada is still covered in ice at the end of July in 2015. This was unusual. You know, when they had a New York Harbor, it was just frozen over last year, you know? But, you know, you know well, it's climate change. It's climate change. It's climate change. Climate change? Bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it is climate change. It's getting colder. But, you know, the, the game is, I'm telling you point blank, the game is the guys and the women, because we got women and guys now controlling things, you know, which you know includes like Billary, whatever. Now it's just Hillary. She's not Billary. Before it used to be Billary. You know, they're pushing for this global warming thing because it's a way to tax on a global scale so they can fund the global government while, you know, Europe breaks up into four pieces You know, that might be a future thing. Maybe Russia breaks up in a few pieces. Uh, Maybe China breaks up in a few pieces. And the U.S. gets weaker. Uh, And, you know, that's going to be like, you know, basically the global policy. You know, make all the nations weaker. And then you got the big guy on the top, which the elite control, control everything. That's really the agenda behind this global warming stuff. Um it's not like I'm against freaking clean air and clean earth. Yeah, I'm plenty for that stuff. And I can tell you, I think there's been a lot of suppressed technology out there. Trouble is, I only know minor parts of it. I only know, like, uh, I did some stuff on my uh, my little Jeep with uh, HHO and a K&N air filter and a Toyota carburetor. And I get 
definitely 15% better mileage or even better than that, at least 15% better mileage and much cleaner output out of that with just using simple old school technology that you got to do with your own two hands. Uh, I know I did that. I mean, I didn't freaking perform no miracles, but, you know, most people don't want to do that. But I'm going to tell you, coming up here in... uh, in 2016, the winter of 2016, 2015-16, I guess you call it, it's going to be worse than when you, I think there's going to be several times that there's going to be like the blizzard of 78, 7, 78, that's how this was. It's going to be like that, except you're going to have several storms like that. And it could be all the way down into D.C. Because it only takes a few, and actually, you know, the reason they're showing that map, and I'll get back to that map real quick, uh, which was about the... Uh, you know, showing that the blizzard conditions are so strong on the East Coast. Uh, I could tell you that a lot of it is because of, um, um, you know, the, the moisture that's going to be around by the ocean. And, you know, that moisture by the ocean is going to bring in a hell of a lot more storms. You know, a lot of times it just rains like a son of a bitch. Excuse my language, but that's exactly what it is. You know, it rains like crazy, and it's a 34 degrees. You know, New Jersey, I've, I've been up there all my life, and I've been down in Florida 20 years almost now. But, yeah, I mean, uh, I know. I know what happens. I was up in New Jersey 95 and 96 when they had the snowiest winter on record. I think last year was a little bit snowier, right around the same. Um, I, I'm familiar with some pretty heavy-duty stuff that happens, and I know you got to be prepared for it because it catches everybody off guard. You say, well, one winter, it wasn't so bad. Uh, you know, it was bad this time, and it... Uh, you know, you ain't gonna, I can tell you right now, even down here in Florida, man, one time I had to call AAA, you know, I had a loose fan belt on my Jeep or something, and waiting for these guys for three hours. You know, if you're going to be out there in the snow and you don't have a sleeping bag in your car and uh, one of those things that fit on the exhaust pipe of your car to, and a snow shovel and hats and water and, you know, extra batteries for your cell phone and all that shit, you're screwed, man. I mean, be prepared. No screwing around. Actually, I'm going to be putting a lot more videos out on that. And, you know, maybe I might travel up north a little bit during the wintertime just to give some uh, on, on hands videos of when this happens. Because it's going to be everywhere, man. I think it's just going to be in the cities. But, you know, in the cities, it's even worse because um, you've got nowhere to really go. You know, it's like, you know, the travel and all the supplies that come into the cities – they're pretty much stopped, and you got a lot of population you got to deal with. And, you know, if there's a problem with the electricity in the cities, you really got a problem. You know, out in the countryside, if you got a generator, you're cool. You know what I mean? Not literally cool. I mean, you're good to go. I mean, I got two generators. Uh, one's a diesel, one's a gas. I mean, also got an inverter, and I got extra batteries and stuff like that that can, you know, get me by on electricity and all this other stuff, you know, and heaters and kerosene heaters. Uh, but I'll tell you, Mayor De, Mayor De Blasio, man, he's gonna be think. I'll tell you, man, I, I'll tell you, all these guys, all Al Gore, Clinton, you know, Hillary. I mean, they're all playing the game, man. You know, I know like the stuff they talked about with the CO two gases, but you know, they proved that what happens when it gets warmer out, the CO two gases go up right immediately after it getting warmer out. It's not that the CO two gases make it warmer out. It's actually it getting warmer out is what causes the CO2 gases to go up. Now, that's kind of screwed up their whole model. Like, again, I'm going to tell you, though, I'm all for clean air and clean earth and all that type of stuff, but i got to tell you one thing. The reason they're doing this stuff is just to tax the crap out of people. And New York, New Jersey, Massachusetts, as I'm from up there, man, originally, hey, be prepared. Now, I don't like... I mean, I got no problem with the snow, but I got problem with communism. So that's one reason I'm not up there. You know, I actually kind of miss the snow and the frozen stuff. But uh, you know, I got a major problem with the communist thinking. And it's not that I'm not liberal. I got to tell you one thing: I am way liberal. I'm not one of those people that stick my head out the window and bitch at somebody because they're riding a dirt bike or something that's making too much noise. Like I saw a video on YouTube just recently, and I called it blatant racism which was a woman, an older white lady, was bitching about um, barbecue smoke that was from two houses down on the opposite side of the street by some black people, family, that were cooking outside in a barbecue, and she has the city come over there with the code enforcement. 
I'm like, you know, what kind of shit is that? That's why I don't live up there, man. I mean, you know, they're supposed to be all so freaking liberal and shit. They're not liberal. I mean, freaking, they're just a hypocritical as all hell, man. I'm sick of that crap. I, I had to mention that in this video because that freaking pissed me off, man. I don't know how those, I don't know how that black family freaking put up with that shit because I would have been like freaking, I would have blown her house up, man. <laughs> Lady, fuck you. I, I would have pissed, that would have pissed me off too much, man. Because, you know, right now, you got these assholes from the EPA saying you can't barbecue. You got these assholes from the EPA saying, or trying to say you can't barbecue. I didn't even realize there was a cold enforcement on this, kind of flipping on a different subject here. But the other thing is relating to the cold is the EPA is freaking trying to screw you on a cold, on a wood burning stoves. And you know, I know it's the middle of summer, but right now, what I was thinking is this is coming up again because I remember I just put a video out. I was thinking about this because I was like, I was ready to do a lot of car work on my cars this one summer, you know, on the body work, and I got all my shit together, and it's been raining. Like crazy, like not constantly 24 hours a day, but every day, it's not the normal freaking Florida thing. It's like ridiculous. And I remember last time it did that, that we had a super cold winter and there's a super cold winter up in the Northeast. And you know, I got to tell you, if you're going to get that kind of cold winter, make sure you got the leggings out there, you dress appropriate, make sure you right, wear the right headgear and especially the headgear because it's extra cold and your head gets cold. But uh, I realized that well, this is coming up again because I was thinking, you know, we got more freaking rain down here in Florida than we, you know, normally it rains a lot down here in Florida in summer, like it's typical in the, in the, uh, the afternoon and uh, early evening. And like it would be total blue, this is norm, that's what normally is, totally blue skies in the morning. And then it starts clouding up in the early afternoon. Then by late afternoon, all hell breaks loose. And you got these thunderstorms going to late afternoon, maybe early evening. And that's a typical pattern. The typical pattern that's been going on this year, and it actually just happened last year, which is a predecessor. I think there's some weird, because California ain't getting no rain. It was like, it's been raining all the time. Like, it rains like crazy in the morning. It might be cloudy out for a couple hours. Maybe it'll be blue sky for an hour. Then... It rains right again. I'm like, so I'm like screwed doing all the body work, man, because it's going to get all rusty, man. Like, no matter what I do, I can do mechanic work, but I can't do body work. I'm not going to, I'm not, I could do it, but then again, I don't think it'd be smart to do it. I'm going to wait till the shit breaks because I could probably, I don't have too much to do. I mean, the shit I got to do besides painting a car would be two weeks, maybe max, you know, because I, I, but this is the thing actually I would like to have for a vehicle back up north, man. A Model A <laughs> modified. With a, a tread track in the back and skis with the wheels in the front, man. That'll be the shit you want. None of this new tech shit. <laughs> that bitch would go through anything, man. That would go better than any four wheel drive, man. That would be like cheaper than the, uh, what do you call those, tracks vehicles they sell and stuff. That would be the deal you'd want. And I'm just putting this out early because, you know, these people that are in this global warming shit, they're not in reality. It's almost like this lady here with the, uh, I forgot her name already, man. I, you know, I, I'm just doing this off the cuff, but I just remember this lady. She was totally out of reality. Remember the the white chick that was in charge of the, dun, the NAACP in this one region, and she never was black in her life, and she was passing herself off as black. Well, that's almost like the same deal you're getting with these global warmists. And it's going to look like that when we're freezing our ass. Well, most people are going to be freezing their ass off. The Californians aren't going to be. They got a problem maybe with an earthquake coming up. I don't know. I hope not. I mean, I hope not. I mean, I'm not, I'm not one of these doom and gloomers that hope for freaking all this shit. But I got to tell you one thing, man. The people that are pulling this crap with the freaking global warming, you know, you, I don't care if it's what political party they're on. If they're one of the establishment ones, like Hillary and McCain, you think they're on the opposite sides? Eh-eh. Uh-uh. They're all on the same page for screwing us over. You know, this global warming shit is really about, um, instant, it has, it's a media blitz to institute a global carbon tax and a way to finance a global government. As the USA weakens, China maybe breaks up into several countries, the uh, European Union breaks up into four unions, four European countries, and Russia breaks up into a few countries. And then you're going to have a big power that, you know, they always got to have something. What's going to come into all the people in the world, you know? Oh, the environment. That's why they're pushing this garbage. But it's so funny because they got it wrong. 
You know, they had a bunch of eggheads think of this crap when they just went with it. So they went with global warming in the beginning. Just like this, what's her name? Rachel? I, I don't remember her name, man. Donzel or some shit, or whatever her name is. Um, I don't remember her name, man. But, you know, it's almost like they're not in reality, man. They're not in reality. They thought up this idea. They planted it. They hatched this plan. To freaking say it's going to be this way. And in situations, actually, it's not going to be that way. Now, I don't know what's going to happen after, say, 2040. It might start getting warmer again. But we haven't really gotten into, I think this is going to be correct. They're talking about much, much less solar activity. So you're going to have to dress warm with your stockings, your umbrella, you know, your 1920s stuff, your, 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 your uh, bunny ears, whatever the hell you got, or cat ears, whatever the hell it is, blue hair, pink hair, whatever suits the season. But, you know, when you do this, you're going to have to, like, um, you know, be prepared. <laughs> because, you know, I know people aren't being prepared because they're being told, oh, the oceans are all going to be melted in 10 years. And you're sort of thinking, you know, last winter was a fluke. A lot of people are thinking that. And I'm telling you, it's not going to be a problem out west. It's not supposed to be a problem out west. But the people up in New Jersey, New York, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, Maryland, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Northern Virginia, and even a lot in the south, you know, if you're out there trying to barbecue in the south in the wintertime, you're going to get snow and ice. Uh, you're going to have, there's going to be a hellacious winter. So... Be prepared, man. Be prepared, man. I kind of wouldn't mind being up there, to tell you the truth. But like I said, I don't like the communism. <laughs> Actually, I am a liberal in a real sense. You know, the founding fathers, we'll call them, we'll call them whatever the hell they were. You know, the guys that revolted back in 1775 when they signed the Declaration of Independence and stuff. You know, that's when the Marine Corps signed up, you know. Anyway, when they signed up, you know what happened? I mean, that's the way I think of liberal the hell with the bullshit you know as a matter of fact that's why i kind of like that confederate flag i don't think of it as southern history i think it is the hell with all the bullshit you know i don't think of it as anything to do with race or creed or religion or anything i don't even think of it as the freaking saint andrew's cross i just think of it as the hell with the bullshit but i tell you the reality situation is coming up man i don't know i'm giving you an early warning here maybe i'll be freaking way wrong on this but you know i mean just weather is like you know and it'll be two weeks of warm, and it'll be, you know, even when we had record cold last year, it didn't have record cold every week. So, I mean, it's not going to be, you know, record cold every freaking day. But uh, I'm just kind of looking at what's going on here in Florida, and I'm like, I don't know. That was that. That's kind of like the same crap that happened last year. I was out, and I figured I was going to ride my motorcycle every day and shit, you know, at least in the morning and the afternoon where it wasn't, like, really freaking hurricaning out, and I, I was like, man, it was like ridiculous. And today, this year is even more so. So I'm thinking this is a predecessor and a warning for what's going to happen, in, especially in the Northeast United States. And not just the Northeast, but also like e anywhere east of the Mississippi especially. And north, north, northern part of the United States and east of the Mississippi. Out west, it's not supposed to be so super cold. But, you know, that's actually what happened during the... Um, I don't know, the major ice age? Actually, during the major ice age, Alaska was not covered in glaciers. It was mainly in central, north-central U.S. Now, we're not getting glaciers. I'm not saying that. But it was north, but we're getting the same kind of pattern. It was north-central U.S.A., and it was northeastern U.S.A. Alaska actually got warmer. Those gla actually, all the ice that's in Alaska that we see today, that was formed after the end of the major... Um, ice age 11,000 years ago after after it was actually warmer in Alaska in um, the last major ice age I'm pointing this out because you know you're going to hear stories about you know it's so warm in Alaska global warming and that's not really how it works We're, we might actually be going I, I wouldn't notice nobody would notice but they know they pretty. there's enough, enough people say they're pretty sure we're going into a, a mini ice age uh, and it's going to be very, very severe. And we haven't really started yet. But it looks like the immediate future for this winter is going to be not the mini ice age exactly yet. It's not. It's going to take some years before we really get into it. 
But we're probably going to have a colder winter in the Northeast than we even had last year. And if you remember last year, holy shit, that was amazing, right? I was up there 95, 96, so I remember like that was that was the previous record snowiest winter in northern New Jersey. There was 101 inches of snow where I was at, or 104 or something like that. It was over 100. I know that. It was more in line with the average of what Buffalo, New York, uh, New York gets on average. Uh, but, you know, you know now, now you might be getting that in a day for all I know. But the thing is, be prepared for this shit. You're being warned early. early. And they're going to be telling you stuff like Alaska's getting warmer. But, you know, it could also be, and I would, nobody would notice Nobody would notice. But it could also be <clears throat> that we're going into the major ice age. And it thought, and they say that it doesn't take like 100 years to go into that. It takes 5, 10, 20 years, that's it, and you're in it. And um, that's how long it takes. It could take a few years to 20 years to go right into a major ice age. And, you know, they're so unprepared for this shit, it's unbelievable. And they're psychologically, they're unpreparing people for it. Because they're trying to push for this global carbon tax shit, because there's that, and the reason for it is the is the uh, uh, global warming now global climate change. Because you know it doesn't look like the global warming's working right exactly. You know, I'm just warning the average person here. I mean, I know there's gonna be people who argue with me and shit. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. One thing I understand is how these assholes freaking play games, man. I I pick up on it. I don't maybe not maybe I don't pick up on it in five minutes. But I pick up on it quick enough to understand what they're doing. And I want the regular people to be average people. Now we're all the little people actually coming down into the poor class. Uh, <laughs> you know, where things are going in the economy. I want all the average people to be prepared on this bullshit. Uh, so I'm telling you now here in the summer. Okay? And uh, I'm going to be putting... I put videos out on, you know, kerosene heaters... Snow chains and stuff. I like those McLeod snow chains. Um, Posi traction in your car. Stuff to put in your car. The snow shovels. The e-tool. Uh, the sleeping bag. Don't be messing around, man. A little preparation early. You know, if you don't need it, you don't need it, man. But when you need it, it saves your life. There's no bullshitting around. Because these, you know, the, the oceans aren't going to, the ice caps aren't going to melt. I'll repeat that again. The freaking ice caps are increasing. I mean, they show you one part where there's volcanic activity under the water and ice caps breaking off and shit. I mean, that's they're, they're, they're lying. Actually, even if you're looking up today, like I'll repeat that again. I know I said it before, but the bear's repeating. Hudson Bay, which is south of the Arctic Circle, it's still got half the ice in it. That's unusual, man. It's still almost half ice covered. Hudson Bay at the end of July. So anyway, uh, be prepared, dress warm, uh, have fun. Don't worry about it, but don't be unprepared. Don't worry about it. Don't drama about it. Don't freak out about it. It's not a freak out video. I'm trying to tell you in a common sense way that this shit's coming up, and I'm telling you real early. But it's not that early because it's really only about four months away until we get into, uh, you know, you, you know, that would be almost December 1st, right? What is that? Uh, you know, August, September, October, November. We're already it's in the ver November. We're already getting into the cold weather. It can already be snowing then, and it's not like normal snow. I'm talking about. I'm talking about. You're gonna get some wild shit. So, I wish they made these Model A's like this, man. That would be the shit to have. <laughs> the hell with the freaking four by fours. You know, you want that <laughs> a Model A like that. Anyway, uh, I don't know. You know, if you find this useful information, I'm not freaking exaggerating on this. I think I'm going to be dead on accurate. And, uh, you know, it's partly because of, uh, you know, the forecast I've seen on the wind, uh, on the weather. And I start looking those up. And I says, you know, it's almost like the same kind of crap we had last year with the record rains in Florida. And now we got really, we got record rains in Florida past even the record rains in Florida we had last year. It's crazy, man. And I'm thinking... That's a predecessor to what's going to happen in the winter. Actually, it'd be pretty cold here, but not. It ain't going to be snowing. I know that. Maybe in 2030, it might be getting a couple inches of snow down here in Florida, though. When we get down in the middle of the freaking mini ice age, that might be.